This is the Mesa Mini Recto 25 Watt. Essentially, it takes all the features from the Big Boy Recto and crams it into a lunchbox size head. We have two channels, each with two selectable voicings. There's a clean channel that you can run in just standard mode or in pushed mode. The push mode to me kind of gives you more of that old school Fendery kind of vibe. Then there's the gain channel, which has a vintage mode or a modern mode. The modern mode is like classic dual rectifier, whereas the vintage mode to me gives you this kind of like in between a Marshall and a Mesa kind of tone. Each channel also has a selectable 25 or 10 watt power switch, each, in my opinion, with their own voicing. I really like the stuff you can do with the 25 watt stuff for the high gain sounds, and then you can also play around with the 10 watt mode if you want to cop some vintage tones. So what we're going to do is hear five killer tones from this guy. I'm going to start with my Les Paul, and the first one is going to be a sweet edge of breakup sound, meaning that when you play really softly, it's going to be really nice and clean, and when you hit a bit harder, it gives you a little bit of grit. This will take you from kind of bluesy stuff all the way through to ACDC, and for this, I am on the clean channel on the push mode with the 25 watt setting into a greenback cab, mic'd with an SM57. <laughs> Next up, we're going to hear the same guitar, same speaker setup, but we are going to be on the red vintage mode. This is that kind of hybrid Mesa Marshall kind of thing I'm talking about. It's kind of got the gain structure of like an old Marshall, but it feels a little bit squishier and it's a little bit more compressed, and I really, really like it. <laughs> Stay on the red channel, but I'm going to swap over to my PRS SC245 in drop C. If you're looking to buy a mini rectifier, you want to make sure that it does the classic dual recto thing. So here's what it sounds like with heaps of gain. <laughs> Thank you. 
crunch sounds on this amp really, really impress me, but I think the thing that I like about it the most are the clean sounds with single coils. If we were on the 25 watt mode on the green clean channel, this is one of the best cleans I've heard out of any Mesa ramp. I was really, really impressed by the way it works with the bridge pickup and the neck pickup on my Strat. It's not too bassy and woofy on the neck pickup, and it's also not too bright and ice picky on the bridge pickup. It's in that Goldilocks zone for where I like clean tones. Let's have a listen. Staying on the green channel, we're gonna go back over to the push mode, but instead of running it on the 25 watt mode, I'm gonna run it on the 10 watt mode. I've pushed the master on this, and this to me kind of gets you like a swampy, tweedy, you know, almost credency kind of sound. This would be great with a telly, this would be great with humbuckers, but I'm using a strat here. Let's have a listen. <laughs> have it five killer tones with this savage little lunchbox head out of all the lunchbox style heads I have tried I would say this one probably strikes a best balance between having really usable clean and dirty sounds you can do super clean cleans you can do super filthy dirty tones and most importantly you can get all those in-between spots which for a lot of gigging guitarists is really important it's tiny and furthermore it cuts all the fat like there's so many options on modern dual rectifiers like high and low power modes and you know diode switches and rectifier switches and channel cloning this just cuts all of that it gives you a really usable effects loop that you can also bypass two channels two power modes two voicings on each i actually really really like it so if you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you thought of the mini recto in the comments i would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time